the One Piece. I know, I know, we're talking anime again, but let's go for it. And the One Piece is real. The One Piece! The One Piece is real! The One Piece, great story, great animation, great timeline, literally great on everything. And this is the day where we're gonna be talking about my favorite anime and how it actually ends, in my opinion, in the Cochino's opinion. So welcome to the channel, like and subscribe if it's not already done. Hold on tight to your seats and let's get this story started. One Piece is one of the greatest stories ever made, in my opinion, and in the opinion of a bunch of other million people in the whole world, in Japan, all over in Europe, and even in the US and all of the Americas. One Piece has been a story ongoing. And first of all, before I start on this story, I totally invite you to go and watch one of my latest stories where I was talking about the story explained of the One Piece and what's going on and how it came to become the one piece itself and who wrote it and everything you need to know i will put the links down below go check it out if you need to know everything about the one piece in less than 20 minutes trust me on that so one piece what is it all about it starts with us following a, the story of a little boy that wants to become the pirate king and the pirate king who is it he is the freest person in the whole world so basically what's going on is this world is divided into four different seas the east blue north blue west blue and south blue and going around them is what it's called the grand line on one side you have the red line over here and on the other side you have grand line and grand line is actually the ocean that's going around the whole world just like the red line and basically the goal is that if anybody can actually overcome everything that's going on in the grand line in this ocean they will eventually become the pirate king just like the old pirate king that was called goldie roger and him and his crew more than 20 years ago actually might miraculously went to the final island and made the whole trip and that's how he became the pirate king and in nowadays time a little boy called luffy is actually actually dreaming of becoming the pirate king and it's throughout almost 26 years of story that we see slowly but surely his dream becoming true and basically how he will get there he needs of course a ship to sail around the whole world to get to the final island and he of course needs a crew because for those of you who already watched one piece we all know that the captain is not that intelligent when it comes to navigating and cooking and stuff like that so he <laughs> he better get a crew in order to get to that final island and so throughout the story we see that he gets some uh, multiple crewmates and friends that will actually go on the whole trip and become pirates all the way to the final island when talking about pirates so luffy the main character he is a pirate he wants to become the pirate king and on the other side they are fighting the marines and the marines are the ones who keep up order against some of the pirates that are doing a lot of bad stuff because let's not forget pirates are usually bad people even throughout history and so the marines they are the force that's fighting the pirates throughout the whole anime but at the same time we can see that another um, power is actually giving the orders to the marines and that power is called the word government and the word government is an assembly of multiple kings and queens around the world that control everything and so with the help of the world government and the marines they are able to fight off the bad pirates that are in the way and that's how we have this ongoing fight in between the pirates and the marines throughout the whole story and we see what happens at the same time let's not forget about one big thing the powers that's what makes one piece special in a way so the thing is in one piece if you discover some kind of weird fruits they can be called devil fruits and those devil fruits they will allow you 
to activate or unlock specific ability so for example let's say you eat a fruit and that fruit had the power of a giraffe well in that case you will become what it's called a person half a human and half giraffe and basically you can transform yourself into a giraffe and in another example let's say you ate a fruit that's called a fire fruit so by eating it you will be able to transform your body into becoming fire which is pretty cool uh, which is also so the main character's big brother that's having that fruit and if you've never watched it please start watching one piece right now because the ending is near and the main character which is called monkey d luffy actually ate a devil fruit himself is able to transform his body into rubber and he's basically a rubber man we see throughout the story how he cannot swim anymore because he ate a devil fruit and that's the rule of those devil fruits they cannot be allowed to swim anymore for some reason and there's a lot of mysteries throughout the whole series throughout the whole manga that it's making the whole charm of this manga because no one can actually figure out how it's actually gonna end we have yes clues here and there but no one truly knows and that's why in here in this video i will give you my honest opinion on how everything is gonna end hopefully my theory is right uh, hopefully my theory is wrong we'll see how it's gonna go the story has already been ongoing for more than 26 years I'm talking about the manga already. And in total, guess how many chapters? Literally in chapter wise, now currently we're at like what? 1,112? And episode wise, we're already at close to that number too. Throughout time, throughout 26 years in the making, it has been crazy that the creator, Ichiro Oda, is still ongoing and still on keeping up mysteries after mysteries and keeping up with the intrigue of the story and that makes truly the charm of one piece and throughout my probabilities if it has been already 26 years and we are close to what the creator Ichiro Oda is saying that must say that the end of one piece would probably happen in like five to six years plus with the latest chapters really going to discover the biggest genius of the whole story and even the genius uh, giving up a lot of information about the world and stuff like that we literally can see the end and then is near of one piece so hopefully if you've never watched it now is your last time before the last epilogue starts the last craziest reveals and stuff like that starts to happen and actually i have told a bunch of my friends to actually start one piece not even a year ago and they already made it until the episode 1000 so there's no actually any one of you to tell me we're gonna pass on one of the greatest story ever made watch it and so how do i see my ended the ending of one piece luffy's gonna be able to become the pirate king zoro is gonna be able to become the best swordsman in the world all of the straw hat crew are gonna be able to make their dreams come true for example just like sanji being able to discover the all blue and stuff like that and nami making up a whole map of the whole world and usopp becoming a brave warrior of the sea and chopper discovering all of the cures to all of the viruses of the world and stuff like that and even robin discovering the whole story so by the end everything is gonna be achieved and at the same time i'm thinking there's gonna be a fight there's gonna be a fight at that same time in between him and the blackbeard crew like right before they get to rough Tail. And then when Luffy, of course, beats up Blackbeard and all of his crew, then they can achieve Raftel. And at Raftel, they discover that, oh, there's a final island. And with the help of Robin and all of the Poneglyphs, they will be able to go to that final island. And at that final island, they will discover the whole truth of what happened 900 years ago. And when they're going to discover it, they're going to ally themselves to maybe Luffy's dad, which is called Monkey the Dragon dragon and hopefully both powers will go and overthrow im sama with the whole world government and at the end luffy's big dream is to organize the biggest party ever which will happen and everybody in the whole goddamn world will be there and maybe the party will be held at the final island no one knows yet and also at the end monkey d dragon might be one of the leaders of the whole world by that time so it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how the story unfolds up until the end but what i'm thinking is 
the Blackbeard versus Luffy crew versus crew. That will happen. Luffy will win. Luffy will go to Raftal. Luffy will go to the final island. Then Luffy with his crew and his dad with the revolutionaries will fight Im Sama, the whole world government and the marines and the pirate king will win. Monkey D. Luffy. Online, there are many, 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 many theories going on. I can cite so many YouTubers. Some of my favorites, for example, Tekken 101, uh, Green Line Review, Anime Balls Deep, and even in the French community, I'm talking about Mon Corvo, One Piece Passion. There's so many YouTubers talking about One Piece and so many YouTubers making new theories literally every day. This is one of the best story ever made and I highly recommend that everybody watching this video go and check out One Piece at some point. The only thing we can hope is that Ichiroda keeps on going for at least another 5-6 to six years. That way he can make it to the end and we can see what the One Piece is. Because just like Whitebeard said it, One Piece is real!